Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to do a hair tutorial. I always get compliments on my hair. People ask me how I do my hair, what products I use. So I'm gonna show you today how I achieve my look. I just do, uh, usually on a regular basis, actually almost every single day, I'll do waves in my hair. So I'm going to show you guys what products I use and let's get started. I usually just take a shower at night and um, then I'll go to bed, let my hair air dry, and then in the morning, this is kind of what it looks like. So, what I'll do is I'll brush it out with a big comb. I have a very sensitive scalp, so any, any like pull or tug really hurts. I actually learned how to uh, curl my hair from one of my, uh, one of my old bosses. She, this was like my first like official, like actual nine to five job. And it was for a wedding planning company. And I was uh, the owner's assistant. And um, we're still friends today. And I thank her so much. Shout out to Ashley Fuentes um, for showing me how to do this. And it just like, it honestly really boosted my confidence because my hair has always been a problem for me ever since middle school. Like, I never knew how to style it. So I just really thank her for this. So what I'll do is I'll comb it out. Once it's all combed out, I will part it down the middle. Let me see if I can kind of get the middle here. You'll have two pieces. So once you have the two pieces, I usually start off on the left. It doesn't, honestly, it doesn't matter. But I'll put um, one side in a little ponytail just to keep it from like you know going everywhere and so then you'll have the one piece left and I'll just take my regular hairbrush and um, I'll comb it I'll run my brush through it again and I've had this curler I think for something like three years now three or four years something like that um, but it's just like an old-fashioned, not old-fashioned, but you know, it's not like one of the wands that I see everyone using. So this is what I have. It's just a Tony and Guy. I'm not even sure. I just got it at Target for like 30 bucks. So really anything, just I would recommend that if you want like big beachy waves to get um, a thicker uh, uh, wand, I guess. I don't know. But this I think is a one and a half inch. I think this is one and a half inch either one inch or one and a half inch, but it works perfectly fine. And once, when I separate that, I'll just take tiny, not tiny sections, but like maybe one inch sections of my hair starting from the back. So I have this little piece. And then what you wanna do is face the wand up, like, like so, and then clip at the top. Now you wanna turn away from your face. I'm looking in the mirror now, guys. And make long, um, don't tightly curl the hair around the barrel. That's what it is, the barrel. And so you'll have this little long, not little, but this longer curl. And you see it's not like a tight curl. My hair keeps a curl very well. So if your hair doesn't keep a curl very well, um, have hairspray on hand. My hair curls very well, so it'll hold for throughout the entire day. So I don't really, I don't need hairspray, but um, I usually just use hairspray for the scent of it. Um, so if your hair is more fine, then you do want to get hairspray and kind of spray each section just lightly so that the curl doesn't fall. And then once you do that, just keep going. And another thing is I see a lot of people curl their hair in one direction the entire time. What I like to do just so that, cause I don't, you guys probably know, but if you curl in one direction your entire, the whole entire side, the curls are gonna combine and then you'll have like one giant curl. And then throughout the day you have to like run your fingers through it and it's just a hassle. So what I do to prevent that from happening is I just take it and I just do each section, I do curling away from the face and then I curl toward the face. Now when you get towards the front over here, you just want to curl away, um, but throughout the body of your hair, like right now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to turn toward my face and just do a big curl like that and hold it for a few seconds. And there you go. 
there's another curl. So I'm just gonna keep alternating so that again that um, clumping doesn't happen and just keep taking little sections of hair and just keep going. So I'll speed this up because it takes forever. And just be careful when you're doing the front pieces because you could burn yourself. And you just want a soft curl at the front, nothing too crazy, just keep it like that. And then we have one side completely done. Now, usually what I'll do is I'll um, curl a little closer to the top um, so that it has a little more texture towards the top because right now all of this is like straight and then you get the curls from here down. So what I'll do is I'll just take a random section and usually the top layers, um, the very top layers I'll curl facing outwards just because it's easier for me to go back and then um, correct any, uh, not, any curls that aren't uh, necessarily that as curly as I want them to be. So you see that curl I made a little higher to just create a little more texture in the hair. And then I'm gonna do the same right here. And then maybe one back here too. And there you go. You have a little more depth in the hair and uh, we're gonna do this side now. So then I'll just take uh, the side that I've already done and put it towards the back just so that it's not in the way or anything and then I'll brush this side again and then start the process all over again. I don't, this side, I don't know why, but this side always gives me a struggle because I think I have cowlicks on this side of my head. So these, uh, these curls right here are what give me a problem. They, blah, blah, blah. These curls always give me problems. That's what I'm trying to say. And so we are complete. That is my hair now. Now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to this side. Um, and I'll probably do it one more right here. Um, just to give it a little more texture. There we go. And then I'll probably do the same to this side. I'll just grab a few pieces and bring the curls a little bit higher. Now grab at the top and you want to curl away and make sure that the separation is about an inch away from each curl so that you get a nice wave, a nice big wave, not like um, nothing to, not like a tight curl. So away from the face and then make sure you have like an inch separation and that's it and then we'll do maybe one or two more so curl away from the face an inch away separation inch and a half and then let go and I'll do I think that's fine and yeah, turn turn it off so we'll let that cool and then this is the end result so yeah and then I told you guys that my hair stays, like the curls hold all day. I don't have to curl it or anything. I don't need hairspray. Um, like I said, I just use it for the scent. And I'm gonna show you guys my absolute favorite hairspray. It's um, flexible hold spray. So if you're looking for something that's gonna hold your curls all day and you have that uh, thinner hair, um, I don't recommend this. So try to get something that has a little more um, hold. So I'll show you that in just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I use, the Money Maker Flexible Hold Spray from, let's see, Dry Bar. And you guys, this stuff smells amazing. I wish, I wish you could smell this. Mmm. Ooh, it smells so good. So I just shake it a little bit and then I 
just run my fingers through it. Yeah. <clears throat> Whew, strong, but it smells good. So that is it guys. That is my hair tutorial. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you um, have Instagram or Facebook, follow me on social media. I will link my account below. And we'll see you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.